Hola, Pajakeros! Today, we are going to add custom gauges to the existing gauge template of our Dashware project. We have copied the small cluster and modified the gauges to have the speed limit and RPM redline similar to that of the 2006 Kia Rio. We are going to add coolant temperature and battery voltage to the gauge cluster. Double click on the gauge cluster to open the gauge designer. The first gauge that we will add is the coolant temperature gauge. In the component menu, click on insert component or click on the plus sign. In the component, type select animated arc. Click add. Drag the animated arc element to the position you were where you want it to be. We will now then edit the properties of the animated arc by clicking on Edit Element Properties. This is the animated arc properties for the coolant temperature gauge. Each element values will be defined and filled in. Let us define what type of input data this animated arc will display. In the input setting, value input field, choose water temperature from the drop down selection. We will ignore the XY position for the moment as this defines the position where your gauge will be placed relative to the upper left hand corner of the gauge design. On the range setting field, the minimum value is set to 0, max value is 300, minimum angle is negative 225, maximum angle is negative 15. These values are set but you are free to change the values according to your design. The arc setting field, the arc radius is 60, the arc pen width is 7.5, and arc pen color is also set uh, in this uh, field. I will then add a field ellipse that will be the dial gauge face. Here are the settings for the field ellipse. Add a field rectangle to act as a digital display face. Fill out all the properties for the field rectangle. Now we will add a dynamic text to display the coolant temperature. In the value input field of the input setting, choose water temperature from the drop down selection. Add texts H, C, and coolant temperature and then place them in the coolant temperature gauge. So your gauge will look something like this. Let's add another data to display the battery voltage. This time I will add a dynamic text to display the data a field rectangle to provide contrast, and a text to indicate battery voltage, and I will place it below the tachometer gauge. The gauge cluster will look like this. Go ahead and save the gauge cluster. I have defined the engine RPM, velocity, water temperature, battery voltage, and mapped them accordingly in the gauge input mapper. Dashware is now ready with your custom gauge. Thank you for watching, and as always, please enjoy and subscribe to my channel. Enjoy!